Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I've got the Daniel Boone fired up, Green Mountain Grills. It's going to be another fun cook. We got a ham we're going to throw on the smoker. Twice smoked ham. It's already pre-cooked, pre-smoked with some hickory. I'm going to throw some post oak in the popper here. We're going to fire it up. We're going to cook it up a couple different ways. We're going to cook it at 225 on the smoker for an hour and a half. Then we're going to braise it in a cast iron skillet. You're going to see what that's all about in a little bit, right? It's going to be fun. It's going to be money. You know me, like I always say. Stick around. <laughs> All right, hey guys, as I stated, pre-cooked ham. This one's fully cooked, actually, from HEB. If you can find one, they sell different flavored hams. Smoked, what have you. The blue wrapper is one that comes with a sweet pecan praline and sweet glaze pack that I'm actually going to add a little fireball whiskey to. We'll get to that after a while. Let's go ahead and get this cut up and get it open. I normally make my own glaze, but hey, make it easy, make it easy. Why not? That's a glaze pack, and this pack here is crushed praline seasoning with pecans. Be good stuff. Might even throw some extra pecans in there while we're at it. There we go. You can see this is a spiral cut ham, all right? It's already cut, it's already seasoned, smoked. What I am gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and add a light layer of the Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Rub, just because why not? A little on the bottom there, a little on the sides. There we go, just like that. No binders, the ham is wet enough that it's gonna have the rub stick. Gonna be good. Flip it around. Let's go ahead and get it on the smoker. All right, our GMG is fired up and running at 225. It's been preheated for about 20 minutes. Go ahead and get the ham down just like that, face down. And let it run like that for an hour and 30 minutes. We'll come back and check it at that time. All right, guys, it's been an hour and a half. Been running at 225. It's time for the braising stage. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to get a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Going to set the ham in there. Going to pour a cup of chicken broth in that. All right, you'll see. Let's get to that part right now. All right, all right, we're here. Let's get this going. See, we've got our ham. Good color on it. Looks ready to eat, but not quite. I'm gonna go ahead and put this face down on the skillet here. I'm sorry, face down. I'm gonna come back with a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna just kind of go over the sides, all around it. Remember, we're braising this ham. That's what we're gonna do. It's all good. All right, now come back and fold it. Fold it. Best you can. Like so. do now is we're going to pump the temperature up to 300 degrees for two hours. After that we'll check if we're shooting for an internal temperature of 140 degrees on the ham. After we do that we're going to glaze it with the maple bourbon fireball glaze and then come back with some chopping pecans, right? You'll see in a little bit. Let's pump it up to 300. All right we've come to our time to make our glaze. Pre-packed glaze, maple. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this up corner wise. Pour it in here with this 
some chopped pecans I put in there right now, about uh, a couple tablespoons. All that drizzled in there. Like so. It does come with a pack of uh, pecan pralines. Go ahead and lay those in there. Rather heavy, as you can see. All right, now comes the special ingredient. All right, special ingredient. It's gonna be a little fireball. Mix that in there. Just enough. Whole bottle. Give that a stir again. Mix it in. Mind, it's all going to melt and dissolve more when we get it on the smoker. Again, you can do this stove top if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on here. GMG. Let's do this thing. See that ham still rolling? I'm going to put this glaze right on the outside over here. That heat's going to come around and in. Set that right there. It's going to get good and hot. It's going to melt a bit. We'll actually let it sit for about half an hour. We're at an hour and 30 minutes in our two hour time frame. That'll sit there for half an hour, then we'll glaze it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, it's time. I try to get this glaze to boil. It's not boiling, but that's all right. It's liquidy enough. See there, it's kind of coming out pretty good. Go ahead and get this ham off of the skillet. I'll cover it. See that it's looking good. Alright. Get that out of the way. Ham over here. This out of the way. Gonna get the ham transferred into a foil pan. Alright. Got my gloves. Put it on here. Sideways, get my skillet out. Over. And looks really, really good. Now we're going to get our glaze and literally just pour it over the top. Out. You want to get it between some of these pieces if you choose to. Like so. And you can see on this GMG, we are running 300 and we are still smoking. Gotta love it. A little bit more glaze in here. Flip that over. Let that run down and through. Alright. We're gonna close the lid, let it sit maybe five minutes. And uh, we'll pull her off and let it rest for a little bit before we taste it. All right, all right, all right. We've let this rest about 10 minutes. Not very long. It's pre-cooked, like I say. Not really going to cut into it too much. But let's go ahead and just take a little bit here. See, it's already pre-sliced like that. Let's just give it a taste, all right? All right, all right. Pre-smoked ham, pre-cooked ham. Twice smoked ham, right? Maple bourbon glaze, a little fireball, a little pecan. A uh, praline packet that came with, I went ahead and added some additional pecans to it. Started it at 225 for an hour and a half. Then we put it in the iron skillet with some chicken broth, a cup of chicken broth to be exact. Cover that with foil and let it baste in there for two hours before taking it out, putting the glaze on it. And uh, looks money, looks really good. Let's go ahead and just give it a small little piece here. I already sliced it, you saw me do that. Give it a taste. Mm-hmm. 
delicious. Picking up on the pre-smoked hickory, as well as the post oak that I put on it on the pellets. That maple bourbon glaze really did cover the top. You can't really pick up on the chicken broth or, or baste in there, although that did help keep the ham moist, right? Give it a shot. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate a subscription. Check out other videos. You know the routine, right? Again, thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll catch you on the next one. That's good. That's good.